you guys are gonna have to bear with me here I lost the beginning of this video basically just shows I bought a golf cart with no charger I got a charger got it to hold one and we find out that it has more damage than the guy says okay batteries charged up we're gonna try it out I'm gonna turn it on so let's find out what she does here let's see if it takes off so the motor runs but there's no gears sad sad fucking days so it looks like there's four bolts on each side there's one hidden in there there's one two three four one two three four and this whole rear end should fall right out which is good really nice but these are rusted on there pretty good, so I'm going to spray them with some penetrating oil and see if I can cut through this rust before I try it. I don't want to break those studs off. I'm going to use my tire fucking gun here. Damn it, is it stripping it out? I was going to take the shock off right here because you got to remove it of course it's hooked to the frame but then I started thinking I, you know it's gonna be a fight to get in there I have to take the tires off I might not be able to even fit but look at this right at the top there's everything so I spray with some oil and then I can get to them I can fucking take them off right there it's the same thing right so I got just about everything disconnected except for a couple wires down there and then I realized I need to tape and mark these wires before I proceed or else I'm going to fuck myself when it comes time to put this together. But I did run into some problems with the brake line. That son of a bitch and cotter pin was hell to get out, but I got her. Okay, I got this rear end out. Got it in the grass in case we get any shit dripping. I don't want it in my cement. But who wants to place bets on to see if there's even any oil in here? I'm going to crack this open and see, drain it before I crack all the bolts. But my money's on that this thing is dry as a bone. I bet you they never even checked it in their life. Looks like it had some serious leakage here. Maybe around the shaft area. Or there's a gasket. I don't know. But it looks like it's been leaking for a long time. Okay, here we go. Tipping it up. No shit, that fluid looks new. No fucking lie, man. That's just clear. That's not even dirty. That's fucking nice fluid. What? Maybe somebody filled it up after they realized it was empty. <laughs> like, that's why it's not working. We'll put some oil in there. That is always work. Nope, so broken. Oh well. well. Well, more oil came out than I thought. I thought this would be empty, so I didn't really have a catch pan under it. But there was a, it was like it was actually refilled again with brand new oil. So let's sprinkle some cat litter on this and uh, let it go back into Mother Earth. Well, I've removed all the bolts that go on the outside. And uh, I found one right here that's connected to the motor. But there's also... Hold on. You can see right here, there's a bolt that's inside, so I'm going to have to remove the motor and get that nut somehow, that bolt. God, I've been beating on this bitch. There's nothing in it. Should just come right out, right? There. Jesus, they really got this fucker wedged. And then I'm trying to balance the rear end. There she comes. There she comes. Should I have marked it for what's up and down? <laughs> oh well. Oh fuck! Fucking A, that's heavy! Ugh! Shit! 
fucking electric motor for sure, bitch. Woo! There's the problem, right there. That shaft that goes into the electric motor, it's all stripped and rusted up. Same goes, same goes for that bitch. There's, there's not much left in there for teethies, so she's just grinding away. But, 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 since we already had the leak going on here, remember how dirty it was? And plus, plus when I took out one of the bottom two screws, there's oil already in there. So we had bypassage. So it is going to need a seal anyway, so we'll put our fake gasket making seal shit and uh, we'll put it all back together, but we got to take take this out anyways and get a new one or JB weld them together I don't know whichever whichever I come up with is the easiest option and the cheapest and of course you're often thinking well JB weld already fucking hey well you never know I mean if this piece here is only like 10 bucks and why not just do it uh, the motor shaft is a whole nother story uh, the female part on that I don't know if, even if I get a new one of these I mean, it might not even work still. I, I, JB Weld might be in the picture anyways. So I guess maybe you guys are right. I don't know. There's the bolts we're looking for. One, two. That's all that's inside. Two bolts. Long bolt goes on top, short bolt goes on bottom. That way you guys don't forget that either. Well, fuck me in the ass with a carrot and call me gay. Here's the real problem. That shaft thing that I thought was the problem down there on the motor, that wasn't it. No, that fucking wasn't it. That was normal. They still hook up tight. How do I know? Because I see this. <laughs> that is a broken axle shaft, which connects in here. This is the main gear here. So inside, oops, inside, only the spider gears turn. So that's why we're not getting any rotation down there because the spider gears are bypassing it. So that's what we're hearing, and you can see all the debris. And the oil had a little bit of debris in it, but I didn't think much of it. But there's little metallic flakes all over the fucking place, floating, see a little metallic slurry here, from it grinding itself. Had a fucking Chris Farley in this thing, fat guy in a little go-kart moped thing. <laughs> and a golf cart, so, duh. And he broke the axle. Broke the axle and she went nowhere after that. So I need to find out how much an axle is. Because I don't think JB Weld's gonna fix that one, guys. I hate to say it, but you know, as much as I believe in this shit, it's not gonna happen. I removed the axle and uh, got the little dealy bob out of the spider gear area. The pinion, ring gear, whatever you call it. Anyways. As you can see, they made up pretty well. They, uh, <laughs> they get, it got sheared, but I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, uh, where I'd have to weld it, and plus I'd probably drop it down about a quarter inch. So I don't need all the splines to enter that area again because they did hang out when I looked inside. So I'm thinking if I weld it uh, right here, we'll be fine. I just got to figure out how to true it up. That's the only problem I'm running into and that's gonna screw me if I do it wrong because this is a straight axle shaft and you can't just have it in there cockeyed so I'm gonna clean it up with the grinder and then we'll take a look at how to true it up if that looks a little difficult then I might have to take it somewhere I came in like a wrecking ball okay that's what it looks like ground them both all the broken shit off I kept the centers, you know, fill around them, but that's a lot of fucking fill. Look at that. I don't know where. I, I guess as long as I get it true, it don't matter how it sits, but. And the splines don't either. That's a lot of fucking fill, man. I mean, half an inch at least. It's gonna. It's get that fucking nice and hot. I don't know how I'm gonna chew it up. I got some magnets. I'm gonna put them on here and see how it does. Let me go grab them real quick. All right, uh, that's the test. I tried to use these, but they're too heavy, and they just you put them up there and they just want to go bonk and fall off. Fucking thing pulling it. Anyways, I just put this up here to show it's not set station or anything, but just to show you that it does work, and it is 
kind of not. I mean, it'll hold it, but it's not the best fucking thing. I'm afraid the first time I go, bzz, it's just gonna go. Thank you and, and tip and just pull. You know how how metal. It's gonna just contract with the uh, weld <clears throat> as it goes on there. But I mean, if you want to get it right on the money, I think this is the only way to go. I'm gonna have my. I'm gonna take a little square and run it right before, and then I'm gonna do a little, bzz, and then I'm gonna take the square again and see if I need to use the pliers to adjust, and then maybe a little bzz on the other side, and then bzz here and bzz, 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 and all the way fucking around, and then take the magnets off and start filling. I'll need a. I'll need some water. I think I'll have to cool it, and then start again, and then cool it. You know, I, I, I don't know if I can, I, that's the part that's going to suck, because that's a lot of fill, and I mean, to fill it up, it's going to heat it up, and I don't want to get it to where I start filling over here, and then I try to move over here, and it's, it's too late, it's already done its thing, and now I'm fucked, now I got a bent axle, and either way, I got to get a new one, so, but it's just the time and, and the amount of shit I got to use to fill it, it's, it's going to be a bitch, and I don't want to fuck it all up. That's just, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't want to fuck up wasting all that shit because I got that one quad I want to cut up and make a side by side out of, and I need all the fucking gas and wire I can keep. I'm using this flat piece of plastic. It's the best piece I can find around the shop because anything metal, these magnets get fucked up with. I forgot about that, so I couldn't use my little nice squares but I gotta tell you fucking A every time I think I'm on the money I'm off somewhere and this fucking thing moves just by the wind I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know it's fucking hard I'm making part two hold on fucking A